Hi friends, in our time together today, I'm going to open the curtains and show you some of my practice routine. I've done this once before and uh, I thought it was helpful and fun and I wanted to do that for you again. And I don't know exactly what issues we're going to talk about because it's a practice, right? I introduced the tune off to California. It's a delightful hornpipe to play. I'll put a card at the top of this video so that you could access that walkthrough of Off to California if you've not uh, watched that video yet. And we even talk some about uh, some of the possible history of the tune. Some of the things I do in my practice is I'll grab my instrument, got my Howard Low D here, and I'll start playing. And I'll get a feel for how I want to try a tune. And so I've tried off to California a couple of different ways. But right now, I'm trying it at a faster pace um, with more grace notes and sliding around and uh, some other ornaments. Um, I found a couple of things, because I haven't done this many times. But what I've seen is I have to pace myself because I have a tendency to want to go off to the races. And secondly, in the B part of this tune, I tend to uh, run out of air if I'm not careful about finding sensible places to breathe. I have run into some other troubles too, but it's early enough that we'll see what troubles I have. What I'll do is I'll start playing, <clears throat> and as I go through the tune, when I mess up, I assume I will, uh, we'll stop and I'll show you how I work on that. Off to California. Oh, make sure you start with good whole coverage. still have some work to do. I noticed, and I don't know if you noticed, that in that second section, I'm still not finding the right places to breathe. Maybe there. Because um, you could accent some of the uh, passages and then Use that as a pause to catch a breath. Let me walk into that second bit again. Ah. Sometimes I've got to go, all right, settle down. Ah, that, that's a good place. And then I'll pause there, quick breath. Quick breath. Quick breath. I'm still trying to decide those triplets. Um, I, I kind of want to just add some other notes in there and it feels a little more fun to me. A lot of that are things you can do. So I'm going to run this a few more times. Uh, a couple of the other spots I've been finding is in the A part. I've been hitting uh, that like third measure walking into it. I've been, if I come into that too fast, I'll squeak into it. And I've got to be careful because 
I actually had a tendency of overblowing the first time I tried it because I was, I felt like I was going off to the races and then, and then I was pushing too hard. So uh, to try, try some of that. So for me, I feel like I'm making reasonable progress. I now want to walk through it on my Wild Irish High D. Um, sometimes the Wild Irish, sometimes the High D, I find easier to play a tune than my Low D. And, um, but I'll run the phrases, I'll run the whole tune, and even if I mess up, I'll finish the tune, and then I'll go back to that. So uh, let me run this whole tune on my Wild Irish, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, my Wild Irish is a full metal body and head, so... I'm gonna get some warm air in there. Even with a high D, it's, you're gonna get some condensation as your warm breath hits the cooler body. Uh, so I'm gonna see how I do there. I'm gonna try it at about the same speed. Um, and I haven't, I haven't tried this on, I had tried it a time or two before starting a recording um, on the low D. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, so I've already started to rush a couple of the phrases. So there, when I, do, when I rush things, and I know some of you have told me you're rushing, I will in that moment stop, and I'm leaning into my foot, and sometimes I'll tap my foot. If you're not a foot tapper, that's okay. I do want to play it a little faster. need to get into that. Uh, it's almost as though I'm not paying attention to what my fingers want to do and I'm letting them do it and then they did it too long. Uh, that's the second half. Yep, that's it. Just one little one. I'm putting, I'm wanting to put one trill in there. So let me walk into that again. that too hard went squeaking um, from the D up to the G I wonder if I should slide there that might be a little more helpful let me walk into the B part again that's going um, I see some things I need to work on now what how do you handle some of your practices so what you could see this is after I've learned the tune I, I start walking through it and I'll play it like I want to not like I want to play it like I want to play it right now I'll, I'll experiment with different styles and I'll go through and sometimes I'll play past a mistake sometimes I'll stop and go back to it um, and if I lose my pace, I pretty much always uh, stop and go back. What do you do in, in your practices? How do you, uh, once you've learned the tune, how do you get yourself up to speed and up to, to ornaments with it? Now, I tend to, I tend to experiment with a, ride, a wide variety. Uh, you saw right now on this one, I'm doing a lot of uh, added notes and, and sliding over some of the runs. Um, I'm wanting to throw a couple other slides in, like, uh, I'll probably do that, but I, I want to get a little more accurate on some of the notes first. What do you guys do? 
Uh, I wanted to peel back the curtain a little. I maybe should have peeled it back a little sooner. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing better than I thought I was on Off to California. Anyway, I hope you are doing well with your practice. Please comment and let all of us know some of your tricks and tips for really getting yourself into the flow of the tune. Uh, another thing I did with the hornpipe is I listened to Off to California with uh, a variety of instruments playing it. Um, not just somebody on a whistle, but people dancing, uh, going back, somebody, uh, somebody with a concertina. That was the most fun because uh, I really feel like they were flying around a lot. And, I, and that's what inspired me to play it this way. Uh, I, I heard that and then some of uh, some of the fiddle music was was uh, similar so that's why I wanted to, to try that out uh, with my whistles now anyway let us know how you're doing until next time this is Scott Shade happy whistling my friends <laughs>